Well hi everybody and welcome back to MP the Friendly Catamaran. Well here we are sailing around the world having left South Africa some four years ago and now cruising through the islands of New Zealand. Well we had spent some time on the popular Great Barrier Island but today we want to share our visit to the spectacular island called Great Mercury Island which has to be one of our all-time favourites off the coast of New Zealand. We always feel happy when sailing in the presence of dolphins playfully swishing about the bows. It almost always is a terrific indicator for a great visit at our following destination. In this instance, the Great Mercury Island. So here we have arrived in a beautiful little bay known as Parapara Bay. Strong winds are predicted for the next few days. However, it felt to us that this particular bay would offer terrific shelter from the northerly winds and would be a great base from which to explore the rest of the island. At last we had arrived to find some sunshine in what otherwise has been a fairly cold climate for us. Anna immediately heads for the little beach to soak up the sun and take in the energy of Mother Nature. soon to find an incredible number of these oyster catchers on various beaches around the island. For me this was particularly fascinating since in South Africa the numbers of oyster catchers have dwindled to such an extent that the birds are a protected species, seldom seen and at any rate one never seems to be able to get this close and personal to them. Our first day on Mercury Island was fantastic and we spent our time pretty much mesmerized by the sounds of nature, the recharging of the soul with the appreciation of our beautiful planet, and to cap this off, an evening that followed was terrific too. For here in the light pink hue of the sky, the calmness of the sea, and being at peace in one's heart, it felt to be within a pastel dream of sorts for us. Let's go take a look around. That's a muscle. Just turn it around a bit first. Wow. That's the biggest mussel I've ever seen. I think that must have been the explosion at uh, Fukushima. <laughs> wow. That's incredible, eh? And whilst I considered the life of birds and bees, I looked up and saw Anna with iPad in hand. It struck me as I watched her sitting there at the fence in the middle of this country vibe, just how much joy a life of sailing had brought to us. Sailing the world sure is a magnificent way to travel. It allows one to bring one's home into such a variety of environments.
a little walk to the south and west of the anchorage gives one a great perspective of Parapara Bay with its colourful flowering eucalyptus trees, the turquoise blue water and of course the white sandy beach beyond. Great Mercury Island surely brings together the best New Zealand has to offer in one place. These country-styled roads that meander over rolling green hills with plenty of sheep and cattle. The only traffic here is one lonely sheep. This road leads toward towering pine trees and rainforests in the yonder. And then of course there are these white sea cliffs that go up into forever and are apparently the highest to be found in the southern hemisphere. <laughs> so it took a while to figure out which side of the fence to move along but eventually we managed to work our way down to the eastern shore of the island and to a bay called Coralie Bay. Coralie Bay is also considered a great spot to anchor in westerly winds and when there is no swell out of the eastern sector. On a day such as this I would not like to be bringing our dinghy ashore. And walking along the beach, one also comes across a fresh water stream, where water finds its way from the mountains, through the valleys, and into the depths of the ocean. As is the case, when we discover these beautiful places where not only the beauty is acknowledged through the eyes, but where the energy of the beauty overspills into one's soul, it is here that I find Anna enjoying the flow of energy in the flow of yoga, 
and this particular pose is my all-time favourite for it reminds me of a bird in flight. And talking about birds, you know, the birds which are the feathered type. Well, I'm no bird expert, as initially I thought this particular bird to be a sandpiper, but I'm told it is a New Zealand dotrel, which is an endangered species, with only about 1,700 birds of this species left. And here at this particular little river estuary, we saw a huge number of them. We wonder how these birds survive when camouflaging so well against the gravel of the various roads on the island. Ok, so we'd had a great day down at Coralie uh, Bay, and it was now time to start heading back to where the anchorage is, where the Red Cross is marked. I must say this spot on the hill above the anchorage was one of our favourite hangout spots. It really is beautiful here, but let's save that for later. Right now we can move on to some other spots we enjoyed on the island. You know, my late father was a sheep farmer and um, I was born on a sheep farm um, in a place called Beaufort West in South Africa. It's a lot more arid than this, so it's really nice to see green pastures where sheep graze. Um, but it takes me back to my father and, and how he loved sheep farming. He loved, he, he always wanted to go back to the great Karoo in South Africa to sheep farm. And unfortunately he never made it that far. But uh, yeah, you know, I mean, this is, reminds me of him. Panning the camera, we can see Rocky Bay over here, another anchorage. So uh, Great Mercury Island is owned by Michael Fay and David Richwhite, who are prominent uh, New Zealand businessmen. Uh, Fay Richwhite went on to become one of Australia's leading merchant banks during the 1980s and 1990s. Today the men live in different parts of the world, and Michael Fay's address is generally listed as Great Mercury Island, so one kind of gathers that he has more to do with the island. Sir Michael Fay has tight ties to the sailing world. He was inducted into the America's Cup Hall of Fame in 2002. Anna and I actually have a tremendous respect for the Fay family who, in spite of having a private island here, make it possible for cruisers on yachts such as ourselves to, to be in a position to roam the island freely. In many places in New Zealand, and especially up in the Bay of Islands, display these private property signs, which makes one feel to be a stranger in the world. But here on Great Mercury, people like the Fays realize we are merely custodians of land for the years we live upon it, and no one can truly own land for an eternity. Here on Great Mercury Island, this freedom to roam also brings a sense of freedom to one's being. Sir Michael Fay, we salute you. Thank you for allowing cruisers to roam around your island.
So walking up the mountain top we discovered this beautiful little dam with huge granite rock outcrops. It kind of formed an arena, Anna's private yoga studio. The views from up here are terrific. One overlooks most of the bays from up here, and of course the more prominent bay that we see here known as Huruchi Harbour. As I was going through these movie clips, I realized what an impact the energy of this island has had on me. Let me share some of these wow, clips guys, here. This is incredible. How beautiful is this, man? Wow. Wow really amazing the best we've seen so far it's incredible well this is one of our favorite islands in New Zealand man this is absolutely beautiful just such a feeling of expanse you know and um, and of beauty yes it's incredible all the way from the top up there yeah, really cool places, you know, I don't normally like walking and if, if it's got an engine I'll, I'll be on it, like a motorbike or something. Walking, no, no, no. Those were my young days when they forced us to go to army and all of that sort of nonsense. Um, but uh, this island just, it, it, it brings that out in me. I want to walk it, man. I, I want to check it out. It's, it's fantastic. And Anaki too, man, she's just like a jackrabbit on this island. Look at her go, man. I can hardly keep pace with her anymore. <laughs> How was that, eh? Amazingly beautiful up there, eh? But I think it's because it's sunny. Yeah, it's sunny. So I'm just sort of saying that uh, the weather obviously uh, helps us to appreciate this island so much too. You know, we've had very grey weather here. So I don't know if it's the weather, the scenery. It's beautiful anyway, so um, yeah, weather, beautiful scenery, it's really cool, man. Okay, Doki, enthusiasm shared, you can sense our fun here. It's time to head back to the anchorage where MP awaits us. Great Mercury Island will always have a special place in our hearts. It certainly has a spectacular diversity in nature, and it is a must-see a must-stay place for sailors visiting New Zealand. Our favourite hangout spot on the island is still right here beside the anchorage where MP is anchored. Here on a grassy knoll, Anna and I would spend days admiring our surrounds, doing some business on our iPad or laptops, strolling the beach and admiring these oyster catchers. For the most part, what we really treasured with our time spent on the grassy knoll is how this place caused us to ponder a while and count our many, many blessings as we sail around our beautiful world. Mm -hmm.